We're gonna go into the bookstore. We found the bookstore. Why would we go in the bookstore? Could be some good books in there. Bookstore! And despite his critics, Thomas was widely believed to be the greatest American patriot of all time. Uh, oh my god, this is it! This is what I've been looking for! Uh, hel hello? Hi. Who are you? Button Gwinnett, who are you? <laughs> Button Gwinnett? Uh, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, but you didn't. Well, you did, but not in a bad way. I just discovered something really important, and now I have someone to share it with. Huzzah! Uh... Are you all right? You seem a little jumpy. Only because I'm scared. I mean, you could have been a ghoul. Or even worse, a rad roach. But Abigail Adams said the great necessities call out great virtues, and there's no greater necessity than teaching people history, let me tell you. That's why I'm out here, braving the Commonwealth. Still, it's not easy. I'm more Hamilton than Burr. Uh, okay, why don't you explain that, Clarissa? What's so important that you're digging around here? I'm glad you asked. I was hoping you'd ask, and you did. Hooray you! But, yeah, <laughs> I'm researching the greatest American patriot who ever lived. Forget your Washingtons, your Jeffersons, your Franklins, and your Hamiltons. Well, don't forget them. They're important, too. But this guy, Thomas, was even better. Thomas... Thomas, Thomas the tank engine? Who? Well, I don't know exactly, but his name is mentioned everywhere. On statues, on holotapes... Even greeting cards. greeting cards. The only thing I can tell you is that every Sunday, people would gather around the living room and talk about him. That's what got me thinking he was a priest or some powerful religious figure. He's a football player, isn't Maybe he? Maybe somebody with his own TV show. Is there anything I can do to help? Holy tricorn hats, do you mean it? <laughs> I, sure, why not? I'll take it. So according to this receipt, there's more where this document came from. It was bought from a caravan that was spotted around the city selling Patriot memorabilia. Problem is, I don't have the Roosevelts to go there myself. But you, you look like a regular Minuteman. I'm sure you'll do fine. LOL, uh, Minuteman. Yeah, he's a general in the Minuteman. Yeah, it's, that, that hasn't changed. Make sure to leave no stone unturned. Unless yeah. it's a historically important stone, then do your best to observe it from a safe distance. Okay, I will observe <laughs> it from a safe distance. Okay, uh, so she, so we're just doing a quest for her and then coming back here. Okay. She's just hanging out here now. Sure, sure. Ah! Okay. You'll do anything to get a story. Oh, for fuck's sake. You're still here? Heather, fucking beat it. <laughs> that, that works. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, what's up? I'm going to ignore the fact that you're using one of my dream guns as a club. Is this your dream gun? I found it lying on the ground. I, th I think it's broken. It's yeah, like it's one of my dream guns, and you're using it as a club. I didn't realize... We're, you... we're going to gloss over that fact, Why do you Mike. What do you dream of broken guns? <sighs> so I found a note here that mentions that there's something at the Parsons Creamery. Ooh. If you play some chess with it. If you're friendly, feel free to stop by and play chess with me. It's starting to get lonely up here. I'll even show you my functional gun. If I really like you, perhaps I'll tell you a secret of mine, Alyssa. Let's go visit Alyssa. It's very, it's very irksome that, that, that you have one of my dream guns, and yet you're just using it to club things. Well, if it's not gonna fire, might as well use it for melee. I, you know, I could have used it for parts, but all right, fine. There's no reason to use it for parts. There's only the one. Again, I just found it's it right on the ground. Now. It's time. We're, getting, we're getting shot at from somewhere. Ah. Hey, this is our creamer. Get your own. We saw it first. Or second. Whatever, it's ours now. No, thanks. I want my coffee black. Yep. It's a Raider Waster. Got it. Oh, someone should make use of it. Oh, that was... Okay, that was Nick. <laughs> and that explosion? Also probably Nick. We can ignore it. I'm gonna need more ammo for that. Whoa, um... Wandering Trader? Hang on, let me put my weapon away. Hello, I come in peace. Heavily defended Wandering Trader? Oh, Brotherhood of Steel. Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> just wandering around, not doing anything. Shouldn't even fucking be... Shouldn't even be here. Go home! Now. All right, to the creamery. This is kind of a pit. No, there's a second floor we can walk around. That's not exactly safe, but it's makeshift. Yeah. It'll do. Whoa! Yup, we're 100% taking that. Hey, you found another one of those broken guns. I don't think... It's not broke. At least I don't think it's broken. Hang on. Nobody move. 
Yeah, it ain't broken. Oh, oh my god, yes! I'm sorry, yours is functional. That You can't use it as a melee implement. I guess you still Why would could. I want to use it as a melee implement, Mike? It's one of my dream guns. Exactly. Why would I want to use it as a melee implement? Because exactly, exactly what? Because hitting people in the face is fun. Did you see how, did you see how I just absolutely wasted that dude? You're also using up ammo, which you don't do if you use your weapon like I do. I don't, even, I don't even know what to say. This is this is legitimately one of my dream guns. I want one of these so bad. What is it? It's the Shogren Inertial. Kazoo tight. It technically is the second semi-automatic shotgun ever invented. But the first semi-automatic shotgun ever invented beat it by like a week, uh -huh. I think. Okay. And the first semi-automatic shotgun was, I believe, the Browning Auto 5? Is that why you want this gun? Because it's the silver medal? No, I want this gun because it's the first inertial recoil shotgun. I thought you said it was the second. It's the it's the second semi-automatic shotgun, but the first inertial recoil shotgun. Oh, I don't. I guess I don't know what inertial recoil is. Inertial recoil is a different type of recoil system where basically the force of the shell casing pushing against the firing pin and bolt is what causes the gun to cycle. Ah, so it's a unique loading mechanism. It's it's very unique. Unlike the Browning Auto 5, which is long... I think Browning Auto 5 is long recoil. Recoil-operated guns are, are effectively how the M250 caliber machine gun works. That's a recoil-operated gun. Uh, okay. I don't, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. It's, go it's, going, it's going over your head. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. This is the... This is effectively the second semi-automatic shotgun ever made, and the only reason it wasn't the first was because it came out a week after the Browning Auto 5. Which got all the publicity. Which got all the publicity. This is the Nikolai Tesla of recoilless shotguns. Uh, kinda, yeah. It's Swedish. Boof. Oh, that's so good! <laughs> Dude, we can't play basketball anymore. I, we'll find another one. It's fine. There's basketballs all over the place. It was designed in this pre-World War I time when semi-automatic weapons were just weird. Yeah? Because, like, nobody nobody knew what they were doing. There weren't any semi-automatic weapons to go off of. So everything was just people trying to figure it out. Oh, all right. The weird dome-shaped thing in the back, that's your whole bolt mechanism. And it's just exposed. <laughs> so when you load the shotgun, you actually pull that whole bolt mechanism back and let go of it. Isn't that susceptible to getting dirt in it? I mean, yeah, but, like, nobody knew anything about semi-auto shotguns when these things were first invented. Uh, so you, you like it more as a, a fascination, less than a really awesome gun. Oh, it's still, it's still really, it's really cool. Yeah, I'm fascinated with it. I think it's amazing. It's, the way it's designed, the fact that inertial recoil was the first thing that they came up with... <laughs> On this shotgun. Not recoil operation, not straight blowback, which is like the simplest thing. It was inertial, this incredibly complicated firing mechanism. The, you know what else? The, another shotgun that uses inertial recoil are basically Benelli's shotguns. Benelli is a very high-end shotgun company. They make very expensive, very well-made shotguns, and those are all inertial recoil operated. Okay. So the, the fact that the second semi-automatic shotgun, which was created in a vacuum outside of... The Browning Auto 5 being invented. Not in the vacuum of space, just Not, isolated. Yeah. Isolated from the Browning Auto 5. They didn't know about the Browning Auto 5 when this was being created. Or maybe they did, but they didn't They didn't know like how it was going to work. The fact that inertial recoil is the first... That would be like if you were designing an airplane, you had never seen an airplane before. Uh -huh. And the first airplane you build is a jet engine. The fact that this was the first thing that the Shogun Company like came up with is just... It's just bonkers to me. I love it. It's so cool. Okay. The um the weird little tab that's on the back of the shotgun that's the safety. Uh, you flip it to the left side. It's safe. Uh, up is safe. Down is fire. I'm uh. pretty. I'm pretty sure. Ka chunk chunk ka chunk chunk. That is very chunky. Yes. It's a lot of movement on that one big piece. That's so freaking cool. I oh man. I'm sorry to be just like constantly nerding out about this thing, but just the way the way this works. I'm okay. <laughs> yep, you're up. You're passionate about it. Oh man, I'm pretty sure that these the, these two rails that the bolt is riding on, I'm pretty sure that those contain springs for, to help put the 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 bolt back into battery. <laughs> it's it, it, that's so interesting to me. Mm, inertial that, recoil is their claim to fame. That this was the first inertial recoil shotgun 
And it was a second semi-auto. Also, another really cool thing about this shotgun, which I can't demonstrate for you right now because I'm not entirely sure how to do it, but this shotgun is a breakdown, which means this part here... The middle part. ...all rotates, unlocks, and comes apart, so you can basically put it into a small case or in a backpack. Oh, it's compact. The whole shotgun breaks down into two pieces. <laughs> that's just, that's amazing! That's so cool! That's pretty crazy. There's so many sick features on this shotgun! If I had an unlimited supply of money, <laughs> yeah. if I had an unlimited supply of money, I would just remake shotguns like this. I would just remake old obsolete guns like this because of how just, how incredibly interesting this gun is. Well, you like interesting shotguns, but I mean, going back to the Pancor Jackhammer, you, you have railed against it for a long time, but isn't it in itself an oddity? It, uh, I will I will admit that the Pancor Jackhammer is an interesting thing, but the, the, the reason I dislike the Pancor Jackhammer is because it isn't finished. It wasn't actually finished. No, no, nothing went into service. No, nothing ever went into service. There's like three prototypes that exist. It was never actually finished. Why is that a deal breaker for you? Because it's not a functional weapon. It'd be the same thing as saying like, Oh, my favorite car is this one-off prototype that Ford built in in 1978. Oh, why can't that be your favorite car? That's a lot. You're allowed to have favorites. All right, fine, whatever. People are allowed to like it. I just, it's it's just become a meme at this point, and it's gotten away, and I I can't I can't. You can't stand it. I I, I, I can't say that like I I actually don't care about the Pancor Jackhammer that much because nobody will believe me. <laughs> I see. Like, I, I just don't care. It's okay. like, whatever. Yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't actually annoy me when it's in things. It doesn't bother me that much. It's just an unfinished gun. And basically, its big claim to fame is that the company that bought the remaining prototypes, they allowed video game developers to come in and take measurements of it and use it in video games. That's its big claim. That's how it ended up in so many video games, mm -hmm. is that they basically rented it out to be used in movies and video games. So That's it's, it. So it's like... Hey, Zach, I have a Pancor jackhammer. Are you annoyed? No, I'm, I'm not. I've got a Pancor jackhammer. Are you annoyed? Are you annoyed? Well, yeah, now I'm kind now of annoyed. I'm, now I'm annoyed at you <laughs> because you won't stop saying Pancor jackhammer. <laughs> yeah, it's, it doesn't really bother me that much. Gotcha. But, but the Shogren. The Shogren inertial shotgun is made of sex. And also the Shogren inertial is a property of matter. And that's why I'm so annoyed that you're using one as a melee implement. <laughs> why not? Because it's not meant to be a melee implement. Well, it's meant to be a shotgun. It's not functional. It's broken. I could use the parts to repair this one. You make parts out of thin air at a workbench. You don't need mine. Valid. All right, fine. You can use that one as a weapon. I'll just make another one of these. Oh, wait. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. No, I'm never going to run out of soap. Uh. Have your pick of the litter, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm never going to run out of these things. They're all damaged. Everyone grab one. Let's go to a workbench so I can do some tuning to this thing. Oh, okay. You really do have a talent for finding trouble, don't you? I, I guess I have a talent. I also have a talent for finding weird, obsolete shotguns. Huh? Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. In my line of work, things tend to uh, get pretty hold, hold, please. Of course. Hold, hold, please, Piper. Of we're, course. We're immediately... Should've Why were we shooting at the poor Brahmin? Uh, no, that's uh, that's an evil Brahmin. All right, where'd Piper go? She ran away. <laughs> All right, hey. In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. Heck, until recently, they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. Someone poisoned you? I barely had the paper going before I got poisoned. First time, I just published an article about this cartel of caravans that had been driving up food prices in the city. Article went over well, even got a boycott of their goods started in town, so I figured I'd pop over to the dugout inn for a victory drink. I'd already taken a swig by the time I realized something was wrong. Vadim, he wasn't at the bar. The beer tasted off, even more so than usual. And I started feeling real woozy. I don't mm. know what he slipped me, but I knew I had to get it out. I'm looking around for something, and there it is. The still. And I just start chugging moonshine. Oh, Honestly, I'm like still a... not totally convinced it was better than just dying from the poison, but yeah. it worked. 
<laughs> and while I was passed out on the floor, security managed to grab the bartender. He eventually ratted out his bosses, and they all got to share some time in the pen. Neat. And then you got better. And then someone tried to execute you. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God someone tried to execute you. I've been working on this you. story about irradiated drinking water in Bunker Hill. I trace the water back to its source through these old sewer tunnels, and what do I find? The children of Adam, setting up like they own the place. Unfortunately, they found me just as quick. Turns out they were not fond of reporters. So, to atone for my trespassing, they decided to make a sacrifice to Adam. Me. <laughs> I'm kneeling there, about to get the boot into this huge sewer pipe, when suddenly I blurt out, Adam, he reveals himself! And they <laughs> buy it. They pull me back from the ledge, and then gave me their induction ceremony. You are looking at an official acolyte of Adam. Took me a couple Ooh. more days before I managed to sneak away, get Bunker Hill security to finally clean the place up. Are you licensed to marry people now? Yeah. Well, that's an exciting life. I feel like I'm just getting started. Getting in trouble is what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the Commonwealth can have a chance at a better life. Whoa, not no, 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 not that one. It's, it's more so that glory. I can get cool shit. But because it's right, I, I just wanted to let you know I'm real happy to be along for the ride. Any attempts on your life will be much more direct when you're traveling with us. I'm just here for all the rewards and glory. <laughs> yeah, me too. But they all don't have to know that. So you <laughs> want to get out of here? Yeah, let's go. All right, speaking of free shit, let's craft them of this. Yes. Oh, man, I'm just going to be using, like, only 1920s guns. This is sick. Sure. There's a story <laughs> that you took out a raider gang with one arm tied behind your back. And you were blindfolded, too. And wearing sandals. And you were shirtless. <laughs> okay, maybe that crossed the line. All right, so we're going to optimize the reload speed on this. We're going to... Ooh, I can put a short barrel on it. Oh, that's just silly. Oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm going to hack the barrel down. Oh, God. Oh, not saw the stock off, though. I still need a stock. This isn't an entry gun, all right? Maybe too short or... Oh, you can do that. Oh, my God. A two-round magazine tube? That seems silly. I've got a good feeling about this settlement. I will shoot you with a shotgun. I admit it, I'm a jerk. But at least I'm upfront about it. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what are my what are my what are my hotkeyed weapons? We've got MP9. My AR, which doesn't exist, apparently. Cause maybe maybe it's just because the receiver and everything changed. Everybody stand back! That mime has a gun! Oh my god, they actually modeled the bolt inside this? Whoa! <laughs> Holy crap, that's actually in depth! Yeah. People, Damn, you guys did good! People weren't expecting you to break the game and seeing able to see the bolt in wow, there. Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Is that, is that your gun? That's your gun! <laughs> Check out my new gun! <laughs> it's just an upper receiver! Yeah, baby! Oh, Bethesda, your games are jank. Don't ask me how this works, it just does. It just works. Invisible mag. Yeah, I kinda, you kinda. Look at my new California compliant AR. <laughs> we'll convert it away from 10 millimeter, even though that makes no sense for it to be in 10 mil. You got to accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, some sound. Think something the affirmative. Don't mess with Mr. In Between. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, brings a bit of charm. Her singing is better than most modders singing. I will say that. Don't mess with Mr. In Between. Okay. Shall we go? What was our mission for the person oh, in the bookstore? Oh, uh, yeah. This lady wanted to go. Uh, Piper? No, 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 no. Piper, that's my room. Please don't go in there. I mean, we we can we can go in there later, mm -hmm. but that's my room for right, for right now. The police, it's like whenever whenever a girl comes over and like looks in your room, where she doesn't actually like go in the room. It's just like like standing by the door, just kind of looking around on the inside of the room. Like, let's see how this bitch lives. <laughs> so, what did the bookstore lady want us to do? She wanted us to go get her a book. 
Shall we go get a book for that lady? Let's go get a book. Enough detours? Let's go get a fucking book. Yeah. And by get a book, I guess we mean find clues about a missing caravan? I, I guess? Did she? I can't remember if she mentioned the missing caravan. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, yeah. No, I think she was like, oh, yeah, this caravan had the book. We'll, we'll check it out. It doesn't matter. We'll check it out. Okay. You're playing with the wrong side. That's not a mosquito. That's a ghoul. <laughs> wow, that frigged him up bad. <laughs> yeah. One of the only things I don't like about the shotgun, or about this this mod, is that when you fire it once, for some reason it defaults to loading around in an empty chamber, even though it would have cycled and fired that one. Yeah. If I fire it twice, first one is that, and then, yeah, it's a little odd. It's a little odd, but I mean, I, you know. Think oh, there's coming. a naked man. There's a man who's naked. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get him last. Yeah. Oh. Hello? What the? F Those are mutants in football outfits? Is that rugby? I don't, I don't know. What the hell is this? Grogan not understand Black 59 Razor. Why run deep post when enemy blitz? Uh, what? Football. Grogan talk about football. Hand egg. But Grogan tired of talking. He want to smash! Okay. Um, well, I'm looking into a lost caravan, buddy. Can you help me out here? You seek skinny man. Man who catches nukes. Yes? Grogan, take you to him. Catches nukes? If he catches nukes, I don't think we want to be anywhere near him. Yeah, I... Where did you even find a football outfit? Guess we're not alone. Oh, oh. It, you're shooting at a raider, right? A raider was shooting at us, I see. Jeez! Go uh, defend you, super mutant football star! <laughs> Not that he needs defending. Yeah. Was that him? Go! Gonna with Fat Man give my brothers trouble. We learn to catch what he throws, like football man. Oh. Okay. We're, we're just gonna fall. You're going into a cellar here? Oh. Into the basement? Is that where we're going? We're going in here? Oh, yeah, we are. We're in here. I mean, honestly, it seems like it's probably low enough velocity. Now, if you look at this play, what we're trying to get is a seal here and a seal here so we can run right through the alley between. But Gronk no understand. Get Why run wrong enemy? enemy? Why not kill and eat him? So For the last boring. time, Gronk. That's what we call unnecessary roughness. Remember, violence isn't the point. It's simply a means to score points. Now that's all for today. I want you to think about what you learned and how you'd use it on the field. <laughs> we don't get much in the way of visitors down here. Can I help you with something? What the hell is going on here? Well, I was trying to teach these boys how to execute a power sweep but most of what I teach them goes in one ear and out the fist. It's like how Eskimos have 20 different words for cold. That's not well, true. Super Mutants only got two words. Eat and kill. Yeah, that's a misconception, actually. But uh, anyway, I'm looking for a missing caravan. Well, if you're talking about Brady's bandwagon, it's not missing. I'm all that's left. See, back in the day, me and this musician used to go from town to town, playing fight songs, and teaching kids how to play football. Now I teach these galoots instead. Why? And who the hell is this friend and what happened to him? Oh, Raiders got him. After he died, I kept at it for a couple more years. But calling it Brady's bandwagon wasn't the same without Brady or the band. Then, a few months back, I got nabbed by a gang of super mutants. They thought I was supplying a gunner that had been giving them trouble. But they got confused when none of the nukes in my wagon actually blew anything up. Yes, human has strange power. He catches nukes, but no boom. Yeah, no boom. I don't think they realize these nukes are just empty shells. I just use them because they're shaped like footballs. Okay. When I tried to explain it, a couple of them got curious. And I've been teaching them the game ever since. When we master football... We will know how to stop the fat man. <laughs> we will catch all the nukes. Oh. Super mutant logic. Gotta love it. 
Okay. They're, they're learning how to play football, so when we shoot nukes at them, they can catch them and throw them back. Oh, boy. Well, okay, I'm looking for something. Can you help me out here? If you're here because my old partner sold you some bogus memorabilia, I had nothing to do with it. Ever since I showed him that letter, my partner Brady tried to pass himself off as Touchdown Tom, the greatest New England Patriot who ever lived. Tom Brady got but it. But the truth is, he didn't know a sack from a fumble. Uh. And now he's dead. Here, take this. It's a sports almanac. It'll tell you, Touchdown Tom died long before the war. Oh, there's the overdue book we needed. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's exactly what we were looking for. All right, well, I don't have any more questions. You meet any mutants who want to learn the game, send them my way. Sure, I will send them your way. I don't think we're going to meet any of them, but uh, I don't think we'll meet a single one. Oh, yeah, they're disarmed nukes. Tom's letter. Season starts tomorrow morning. I can't wait to fully commit my energy and emotion to focus on challenges. I want to thank everyone for the support they've given me through this challenge experience. I also want to thank Judge Berman and his staff for their efforts to resolve this matter over the past five weeks. I also thank the union's legal team. Uh, okay. uh -huh. Look forward to the competition on the playing field and hope the attention of the fans can return to where it belongs. More importantly, I look forward to being a New England Patriot from now until the end of time. Sincerely, Touchdown Tom. Yeah, all right. Okay, well, Touchdown Tom was probably doing stuff he shouldn't have been doing, but mm, that's yeah. fine. And by that, I mean performance-enhancing drugs. Well, legally, I don't, I don't think we're allowed to say that. Slander. LaBelle. No, the LaBelle is a rifle. Okay. Ooh, yeah. They're just playing football. He's going the distance. He's going for speed. No, that's about that's about driving. It can be about anything I need. No, it isn't. Back to the bookstore, I guess. Back to the bookstore. There's a patch that makes the frame rate better when you're inside when you're inside town. It's installed. You're back. Let me guess. You found a biographical tome. <laughs> or, ooh, ooh, some kind of colonial diary. That would be even better. Don't Knocked keep me in suspense. Of... You have something, right? Yeah, this is what I could find. What in the world? Touchdown Tom was a football player. Yes. You mean the greatest American patriot was just some dumb jock? Yes. Which also means that this whole chase was one big waste of time. It's that cherry tree story all over again. <sighs> I'm gonna need some time to digest this. But here, as promised, your payment. Plus a little something extra. Won't be needing it now that I know it's worthless. Historically, anyway. That was a poster for touchdown time. Championship ring added. Oh boy, a championship ring. Wow, I can't wait to throw this into the trash. Doesn't seem to do much of anything. Does absolutely nothing. It's worth 400 though, so I mean. Hooray. Great, um, so. Okay, so Thomas turned out to be a nobody, but that just gives me appreciation for people like John Zubley, a real hero that shouldn't be forgotten. Who? <laughs> I, I already forgot him. All right, well. We're, we're gonna loot this place, then take off. See you later. No, also destroy what we don't want. Hey, you wanted to talk about something. You got time to talk now? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you, Nick? Who, who? Man, you're a bad singer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... I never lie with my mouth. But sometimes I'll nod my head up and down when I mean to go side to side. Gotcha. Are you Shakira? Do your hips not lie either? 